So one thing I, I think is really important, that you, the point that you made was that we can customize this to look like other things. It doesn't just have to look like this. In this case, we've got you know, physically based aluminum being represented here, but mm -hmm. I think it's interesting to explore what's possible in terms of materials. And so the, so the, 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 uh, the design team of any car company could import their geometry. They could, whatever geometry they would like to use, yeah, and we could absolutely. render it completely in real time. Yes. Now, one of the things that you mentioned, um, to convey the subtlety and the exquisite nature and the, and the artistry and the craftsmanship mm. of a car, um, the ability to render materials is really important. But yet, rendering materials is complicated. You know, what, what uh, carbon fiber looks like or what, what, uh, what car paint looks like or what aluminum looks like or, yes. or you know, brushed uh, copper looks like. Uh, these materials have very specific uh, re reflectivity and responses to light. And so one of the things that, that um, uh, you wanted to show us is, is how we deal with that very, very advanced way of doing material rendering. Yeah, and I think your point is uh, well made that I think materials, we see them every day, so we don't realize how complex they are to simulate um, on the GPU. So one thing we've done here now, this is all powered by Drive Studio, but it's a very uh, simple and fun example of how we can explore materials because uh, gauges and, and clusters look very different given different uh, materials. So we actually have real physical swatches here. So this is, this is bamboo and we've got a wide variety here. Powder coat, this one is incredibly heavy. Um, car paint. Car paint is amazing because it has so many layers on it, suspended metal flecks that have to be simulated. Uh, the light passes down and refracts through here and bends out in very incredible ways. Uh, one of the most An effect incredible called ones, subsurface scattering. Yeah. Right. One of the most interesting ones is, is carbon fiber, which actually has anisotropic properties, which means it depends on what direction you look at it, it'll actually look very, very different to the, uh, to the viewer. So these are, cannot be represented just by pictures. Mm -hmm. They have to be simulated, they have to be computed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, in our little laboratory here, what we can do is we can take a particular material and maybe if we can show the, Let's go back to the, the, the gauge up on our screen here. Yeah, that one. So, I can move this gauge here. Again, very, very high quality, well, well rendered. And I can take bamboo and I can place it here and the gauge transforms and takes on that material. That's pretty cool, right, guys? <laughs> now, the important thing is, is, is uh, to recognize that the, the lighting over the surface of the bamboo uh, really conveys the subtlety of the bamboo. And so whether it's the soft shadows or the, the, the reflectivity of the bamboo and, and the subtlety of the grain, uh, you can really get a sense that it's bamboo. Now, of course, of course, we're using bamboo here because it's fun. It's a fun, fun material to play with. Um, but the, the important thing is that almost any material, almost any material that, uh, that car designers can think of that they would like to use to create their digital dashboard could be realized. So this is porcelain. I'll just go through a few of these so people can see what they look like. Maybe the aluminum. We had this on earlier on the gauges in the, uh, in the cluster itself. Now All this right. is really finely polished aluminum. We could, of course, add much coarser brushed aluminum to it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, or uh, hammered choice. aluminum, all kinds of wide variety. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the paint I mentioned before comes on here, and uh, we can look at that. And we can also do things like change the lighting itself. So, for example, if we wanted blue lighting, and we can dial it down, maybe have a dimmer switch in the car that gives more or less lighting associated with that. And so this would be something that you would do in different drive modes, for example, the electric yeah. mode or, or the sports mode of the car. Yeah, change yeah. the color. Uh, and then I think the last one that's fun to end on here, I'll make it red because I love it in red, and you can see the depth of the carbon fiber here. As I mentioned, this is not just any picture here. This is actually simulating the light passing through a clear coat with refraction being transferred through those carbon fibers and the light is being simulated. And now you guys have to imagine what is actually happening here. It's not just one decal that's being placed on top of a geometry. These are mathematical equations that are computed of following the, the nature of light and imagining how, uh, computing how it would reflect and refract um, and even penetrate the surface of the gloss bouncing around underneath in the layers of paint and then scattering outward 
Okay, all of these computation are being done on our GPU and then, of course, uh, being displayed in real time. And the, the thing that's really cool is, is um, uh, everybody could have a slightly different mode. That's right, right. I could I could get into a car yeah. and uh, it notices it's me in the car because of maybe some, my, my keychain or yeah. something like that. Or, or recognizes your face. My face, right, exactly. And yeah. then all of a sudden it changes the, the nature of, of the, the environment inside. Absolutely, yes. It really brings a lot of customization and joy. All yeah. right, fantastic. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you, good okay. job, Justin. Yeah. Bye -bye. So that's Drive CX, the most advanced, advanced digital cockpit in the world. We don't offer just the chip, but the entire reference platform and the BSP, all of the system software, all of the middleware, the rendering real time, all the way up to the creative tools that are necessary to connect the vision of a car company all the way down to the horsepower that's inside the Tegra X1. End-to-end -end platform all the way from processor to software, the NVIDIA Design Studio.